working with and for the foundation since 2001, since they started their eye care programs in the Pacific. The challenges that they have here is the, firstly, I would say the equipment which they need in their work to work up patients like cataract patients to prepare them for surgery. Since there's only one um, ophthalmologist in Samoa, uh, for quite some time we have not been able to come to Savai to conduct surgeries. Instead, we have a few patients from Savai coming to Apia to have their surgeries, but there are more patients here that are unable to come to Apia for surgeries. So it, once in a while, it's important for doctors and nurses and for us to come and bring the service to Savai for patients who are unable to travel even to Apia to have these surgeries. For me as a surgeon, it's exciting. I'm just as excited as, a, as the patient. For the patient to have the bandages removed, the experience is are different, especially for patients who have been blind for quite a number of years. But when the bandages come out, the patients start to see again. It's all like all brightness and the colors are back and they mostly appreciate the colors. For quite some time, we haven't had an ophthalmologist locally. Uh, we, we were still unable to deliver this service regularly um, for one reason or the other, whether it's equipment, whether it was affordability of surgery. So there was always a backlog. There was always this huge backlog of patients that needed surgery, but thankfully, throughout these years, before I completed my training, we've had teams. Fred Hollows um, have been coming a week at a time to do surgeries, and we were able to, to bring the numbers down but not completely uh, eradicate cataract as a cause of blindness in Samoa. So this week, it's very helpful. Dr. Situ and Dr. Lucila can relieve some patients about their problem. It's a good relief for myself, like especially patients. They keep coming to me about the cataract and those. I can't do anything unless I send patients over. I'm very happy. I love that Fred Hollows, whether you're rich or poor, everyone has the right to quality eye care. With Fred Hollows, these services are not delayed. They just come in and then expedite what needs to be done. The problem now is people not being aware that, um, that diabetes can affect their vision. Through our partnership with a lot of organizations, we've been able to get our service out um, to the peripheries to screen patients for diabetes, but people do not present to the centers. I mean, now the service is there, but people are not presenting, I mean, not the amount that we expect about a quarter of our adult population have diabetes and we've only managed to screen maybe less than 10 percent of that population uh, even now that we've brought the service out so we need people to know that uh, that they need to be screened that diabetes does affect their vision and so they need to come in the message i would give is that uh, us we pacific islanders just as new zealanders are we're in the same region, we share the same water, and we uh, all Pacific Islanders. And the work that we're doing is, uh, is reflecting the passion and the, the support that New Zealanders give to the Pacific Island countries. New Zealanders, through their hearts, they've given freely with their hearts. And, made it possible for these services to reach our shores. You know, one of my patients um, said to me after, after surgery, um, how blessed am I to be able to do this? And yeah, I feel blessed that this is my calling, um, to be able to do this for somebody else. I'm just truly blessed. <laughs>